brought to you by the Visit Chandwell Tourist Board in association with Tim's Cars, your one stop to any stop in Chandwell and beyond. Chandwell, a town of beauty, a town of architecture, a town of art. There's more to our town than you might think. Hello, I'm Brittany Scroggins and I am here outside the spectacular Royal Scott Hotel in Chandwell. Join me on a walk around our town and see some of the things you are missing out on by not being in Chandwell right now. The Royal Scott and its stunning French ballroom is very special to me as I got married here just last year. Let's move on down the back of Market Street and see what else we can spot. Here's Warner's. It's been here since the 60s and is where Bufton Warner himself developed the revolutionary asbestos guttering Ascot. Sadly, Bufton died in 1978, but if we look over the wall, we can still see Ascot on the magnificent station route. Let's rest a while on this fire escape and admire some of the local graffiti of Chandwell. Scotty's most recent addition, Rotting Fish, appeared in January and just over the wall there are works by the mysterious Stanley. Nobody knows who Stanley is, but his work appears all over Chandwell. Some believe he lives in a cave up on Baker's Hill, but nobody has ever found him. This cellar used to terrify me when I was little. It's said that it's haunted and we used to dare each other to go into it. Don't do that though kids, it's probably dangerous. And here we are at Pockets. This is where Jack, the Breeze, Sharpner, won the 1987 Northern Under 21's Cup. Later that night, he needed to be rescued after drunkenly climbing Rosebeck Bridge down by Robert's Weir. Pockets and Riding's house behind me were built in the 1960s to replace the buildings lost in the Market Street fire in 1953. The fire started in number 17 Market Street, which was the home of Spagnelli's ice cream. We believe that the fire was started by Nikolai Deltacorni as the final act of the Great Chandwell Ice Cream War, but this has never been proven. Let's walk on down past Hockings and the Old Pool Law Offices, cross High Street and find ourselves on Bridge Lane. Let's pop into the Weir and see if Landlady Wendy is about. Wendy is famous for serving the best pies in Chandwell but don't think about trying to start any fights in here. Wendy has a fabled right hook herself and suffers no nonsense in her pub. Let's drink our pints in the beer garden. That's the old bridge over there. And we can also see T and C Bakery. Head baker, Ted, has won the best buns award four years running. I'll wait here if you want to cross the chander and grab yourself one. So let's take a walk up Station Alley. We still have no idea what Norman and Sons does. We've never seen the door open. Let's keep going and have a look at the Railway Men's War Memorial. This obelisk remembers all of the local railway workers who lost their lives in the two world wars. Just behind us is Tim's cars. Give them a call when you visit. Boss Tim is a lovely man, a real pillar of the Chandwell community. If you're thirsty, do pop into Pippa's Pantry for a cup of tea. Maybe treat yourself to some rhubarb turpin. It was invented by Dame Flora Turpin just across the tracks in Grant's Tower of the Royal Scot. I do a lot of work for the Visit Chandwell Tourist Board. Pop in and buy a signed photo of me if you like. Just next door is the wonderful 21 metre high station tower. Designed by the Chandwell and Ilkley Joint Railway, the two metre clock face can be seen as far away as Michael's Rock up on Baker's Hill. This is the end of our little walk, unfortunately. I think you'll agree that our town is not only beautiful, but full of surprises too. So get yourself on a train and ask for a single ticket to Chandwell. Cross the viaduct and marvel at the sights of our town. When you get here, rest your weary bones in a room at the Royal Scot. You will not be disappointed. 
Chand well, it's not as grim as you think it is. Brilliant! Thank you, Charlotte. You can go home now. Hello, I'm Brittany Scoggins and I'm here outside the fantastic. <laughs>